this where they explain your body? Did you say yes? Yes, it did. I couldn't understand it. It's because it was a scream. It was the first structure built in Jerseyville. It was called the Little Red House. A gentleman by the name of James Faulkner built this house in 1827. Uh, the Little Red House looked like this. There's a, a picture of it on the wall in the next room. And, uh, it was a two-story structure, like I said, the first structure here in town. And uh, as the years went on, when the Cheney family came into play, they built on to the, to the house and made it into the mansion that it is today. Now, the Cheney family, uh, this is their dining room furniture. We uh, was able to achieve it. Uh, the mansion came to us by way of an auction. Edie Cheney, are you here tonight? Francis? Margaret? I'm gonna have to kick on a pair of uh, The pair of uh, registers static electricity, which is different than the EMF. signals inside that vault. Okay. I'm going to go in here. Uh, when I do, there's going to be a light that comes on temporarily. Okay. here with us tonight. Can you let yourself be known? to the house, 
but every piece in the house is tied to Jersey County. So it has a Jersey County tie. It's not that we just went out and found any random antique. All this furniture has ties to the family here in the county. The, uh, the fireplace panel and mirror, uh, I was uh, working the ring at the auction, and uh, a gentleman next to me was bidding on that. That was going to be removed from the house. And he wanted to be at seventy five hundred dollars to own that, and uh, he said, it "Stays with the house and donate it back. It's not going to be torn out." And I got his number uh, so he could uh, pay for it at the uh, cashier's. And he said, "By the way, my name's Charles Cheney. He, he was my dad. Back in the day, before funeral homes, uh, a family that was wealthy enough would have a, a certain place in the house to uh, lay the body in state and have their own funeral at the house. The undertaker would come to the house. So that's what that section is actually for. That's where the casket." This is uh, the little cubby hole where they used to shoot bodies. I think that's the first one I've ever seen in my life, Bones. You? No, yeah, that's the first one I've ever seen. Whoever's in this room with us, is this where they display your body? Is this where they display your body? Did you just say yes? Yes, it did. Thank you for answering. I think he just said Barry. Can you say hello to Bill? Yeah. Say hello, Bill. Uh, if you can say hello to Bill, that will help us to know that you are in fact here. Richard McCauley? Richard was one of the benefactors who made purchasing the mansion possible for the historical society. He is now deceased. I see you in the chair. Can you stand up out of the chair? Can you stand up for me? 
went back into silent mode. I took it down one notch. Margaret, can you answer me now through the box? Please. Can you say hi through the box? Yes, is that you? I feel the hair going up. Well, my hair is going to be tired by the end of the night. My hair is like constant, doing, constantly doing push-ups. Margaret, are you here? You are, aren't you? Through this little box in my hand, can you just say hi to us? Can you say hi to Bill? I think it just said Bill, didn't it? <laughs> it said something. Yeah. Can you say hello? Hello. Margaret, whoever's here. Can you say something to Bill? Can you say something that he can hear and understand? Can you say something to him? <laughs> what did you think it said? Something. <laughs> You said say something, and that's what it sounded like. It said something. <laughs> Dorothy Hoffus. She was a young nurse. This is a picture of Dorothy. These two pictures. And Miss Dorothy came to the uh, to the home in, uh, in the early 1900s, about 1912. Uh, but Dorothy was hired to take care of little PD because he was kind of spindly at at, uh, at one year old. Uh, AM decided to get him some full time help and a nanny. Uh, just to keep him on his feet and get going. So she was hired to stay six months to make sure the baby got on his feet and got going good. And Dorothy stayed 37 years. Was this your bed, Dorothy? What made you stay here for so many years? Dorothy, can you say something to me through this device that lets me know beyond the shadow of a doubt? Dorothy, can you say something to me through this device? That lets me know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you are here. Shortly after leaving Dorothy's room, a light anomaly was captured on the night vision security camera. Watch the closet on the right. The anomaly appears as if passing through the wall just below the hanging sweater and travels through the bedroom. This has been debunked as not being dust or a bug. Dust does not travel in this fashion, and looking at frame captures shows the lack of wings, legs, or a body that would be found if it were a bug. Children's room. Um, it's 
simply because uh, Charles said when he came here, this is where him and his cousins would hang out, spend the night with the genies and, and play, and then they had a big time. So we just kind of dubbed the children for it. We got it. So you can see in the back corner here people that's donated like antique toys and games and things to us. We, we put back there. And uh, a lot of activity in this room. That. That spooks me every time I walk in here. Yeah. It does me too. Every time I look in there, I go, oh. Kids, are any of you here with us? Set on the bed corner. Uncle Bill and I are here to talk. Can you use this device in my hand to speak? <laughs> See, now you've grabbed something that's terrorizing. and I explored other parts of the house, the security camera in the kids' room captured this light anomaly passing through. Notice how it appears to pass right through the wall at the far end of the room. sleep it off. She wasn't like he wasn't allowed to be in the, in the main bedroom that night. So we, we kind of nicknamed it the drunk room. And we have had some foul odors in this room and such things as that and uh, uh, some growls and groans. So it, it could be. This bed was donated to us by the Noble family here in, in uh, the county. And this bed made uh, the trip west in covered, in covered wagon with the Noble family from the East Coast. It's uh, kind of unique how it's made with this big luxurious thick mattress. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's actually the box springs here are hinged in the middle. Everything folds up. It's very compact. And uh, like I said, it made the trip here in the covered wagon of the Noble family. Wow. Another neat piece there is the shaving stand donated by the Williams family here in town. Uh, the copper tank on the back would be filled with hot water from the cook stove. And uh, they had you know, hot water, running water to freshen up and shave and such things as that. A couple of neat things in here that were donated to us. In 1930, if the women went to the beach, this would be the bathing suit they would wear. It's made out of wool. Uh, and, you know, in, in swimming weather, this would really be comfortable. I'm sure it's very scratchy. It probably weighs about 50 pounds when you get it wet. And uh, the men not to be outdone, this would be the men's suit in 1930. The men's bathing suit. Battle bottle this for you. Oh, here, yeah. By the way, yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, so, Matt. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Did it make you mad when she locked you in here? That's a sign of a good wife, isn't it? When you were drinking and she locked you in this room, did you smoke in this room too? Is the floor burnt in this room? They especially used a certain kind of wood that didn't want to burn. Just for that purpose. 
That's why you just see black marks instead of, you know, anything catching fire. Well, basically, the only thing it burned was a shellac. Uh, did you hear that? Yeah, but I couldn't understand it. It's because it was a scream. That was an angry... Uh... Is it true what they said about you not having to work a day in your life? Did you ever work? Did you have a job? Did you hear that? <laughs> Sound like I said, I did. Drums? Did you hear that too? It was drums. It was. Drums? Did you hear that too? It was drums. It was. <laughs> Sound like like you would hear it in a march, you know, like the Civil War. Okay, I think he just said no word. I think he just said something about mother. <laughs> at the beginning of the investigation we set up an experiment in the hidden room used to hide slaves traveling north on the underground railroad we used a static cam a data logger a recorder and an sb7 spirit box using an es speaker the es speaker turns sound passing through it into emf energy which cannot be heard by the human ear but is believed to be heard and used by spirits. Unfortunately, even after using several different spirit boxes, we did not capture anything significant on this night. The mansion did, however, fill our cameras and recorders with intelligent spirit box responses. Is this Prentice or is this Margaret? <laughs> Amazing light anomalies. and even figures that seem to answer questions on the SLS camera system. Can you tell us your name? Bones and I are both looking forward to paying the Cheney Mansion another visit in the future.